Hey guys, check this out. Want to talk about a nucleotide today? So pay attention and have some fun learning. Okay, boom, let's do this. Today what we're going to talk about is this beautiful little molecule here, okay, called a nucleotide, okay? These are very tiny. I know it looks super big today, but it's a really tiny molecule. And these molecules are super important because they are used to make your DNA and your RNA, okay? Remember, these bad boys have three parts, okay? The phosphate group, okay? The sugar, there it is, five carbon sugar, okay? Notice one, two, three, four, five, got it? So five carbon sugar. And they can have one of four nitrogenous bases, okay? So this guy right here, I believe, let me check my diagram. Oh yeah, it's guanine, okay? Guanine. Now, there's also another one that is called adenine, okay? Notice, okay, what they have in common, okay? They both have two rings, okay? See the two rings, okay, got it, see that? Two rings, but look at one of them has oxygen, no, oxygen, okay, and the other one doesn't have oxygen. You see that, okay? The one with oxygen, okay, that guy is guanine, and this guy right here is adenine, all right? Boom, so when you have, and then there's two other nitrogenous bases, like this guy here and this guy here. Okay, this bad boy right here, cytosine, okay, cytosine. And this guy right here, okay, is right here, is thymine, all right? Notice, okay, they're similar because they have one ring, see, only one ring right there, see, I can see you, right, one ring. But this guy right here, okay, has this amino group, okay, NH2, whereas this guy, okay, has, all these other parts, but if you just take a look at them, you know, so you can see them, boom. Okay, they're slightly different, but slightly the same, okay? All right, so those differences, okay, make them different, all right? So, when you take a phosphate group and you connect it to the one, two, three, four, fifth carbon, okay, boom, you almost have a complete nucleotide. Now, if you take one of the nitrogenous bases, like this one, and attach it to the first carbon, right here, see, okay? What I mean by first, one, two, three, four, five, the fifth carbon is always the one sticking out. Boom, we have a nucleotide. This is a cytosine nucleotide. Why? Because it has cytosine in on it, okay? Let's take that one off, okay? Let's put this guy here, okay? Do you remember who this guy is? This guy's called thymine, all right? Thymine, so now it's a thymine nucleotide. Boom, okay, learn it, okay, boom. Then, um, now remember, okay, that there's other ones that you can do, okay? So for example, okay, here's that two ring bad boy again, boom, with the oxygen on top, right? This guy is called guanine, because I haven't memorized it, okay? And guanine attaches in a very specific spot. Now we have a guanine nucleotide. Notice the only thing I'm changing is this. The nitrogenous base, right? And then after guanine, there is adenine, boom, two rings, bang, there it is. Got a adenine nucleotide, okay? And when you take these bad boys, okay, and you stack and you make chains of them, all right? And then now you have two chains, you're gonna get this thing called DNA. And it's super important, okay? So I'll talk about the structure, okay, right now. So if you Take this molecule apart, okay, notice, okay, it has these letters here, okay, when you take this molecule apart, okay, the whole thing is made up of these tiny, tiny molecules called nucleotides, okay, there are four types of DNA nucleotides, a thymine nucleotide, an adenine nucleotide, Okay, and if we look through here, okay, there's other nucleotides like a guanine nucleotide and a cytosine nucleotide, okay? So this whole molecule is made out of just four different types of molecules, okay? So let's talk about what is a nucleotide. So. A nucleotide, nucleotide, okay, has 
three parts. Okay, it has a phosphate group, and that is a molecule that looks like this. Okay, something that looks like this. See that? And that phosphate group is attached to a sugar that has five carbons. One, two, three, four, five carbons. Okay, and that sugar is called deoxyribose. Okay, now, what does that sugar look like? It looks something like this. Okay, a little something like this, okay? And so now, this is what we have, okay, so far, okay? Now, right here, it's missing the last piece, okay, the third piece. And that piece is a nitrogenous base, okay? A nitrogenous base. And there's three types or four types of nitrogenous bases. Okay, so let's go over those four different nitrogenous bases. This nucleotide has the nitrogenous base thymine. Notice that thymine has one ring, okay? And what differentiates that one is that CH3 group. That's always a good group to look for when you're trying to identify thymine. Okay, it has two oxygens. This nucleotide, okay, is cytosine. Notice that cytosine has this amino group over here and only one oxygen. Both cytosine and thymine have one ring. Now we have two other types of nucleotides because of the different nitrogenous bases. This is called an adenine nucleotide because it has adenine as its nitrogenous base. It has two rings, okay, and notice only nitrogen, hydrogens, and carbons. Here we have the, uh, the nucleotide called guanine. Guanine also has two rings, but it has oxygen. So now, together, all four nucleotides are used to make DNA. So what I've done here is I've taken the phosphates and the sugars, and I connected them together to show you how nucleotides okay, form a chain. Notice I've taken off the nitrogenous bases so that you can clearly see okay, how the strand is built. Okay, And here is a diagram of the same thing. The phosphate okay, that's connected to the sugar, so that would be one part of a nucleotide, and we're missing the nitrogenous base. Okay would connect to this nucleotide and then to this nucleotide. This would be one strand of the DNA molecule. DNA, however, has two sides, okay, or two strands, okay, one side and the other side. Notice that now I've added the nitrogenous bases. So adenine represents, this letter A represents a molecule Okay, called adenine, okay, which is right there, okay? Now, when DNA is built, okay, if there's an adenine nucleotide on this side, then on the complementary side, okay, or the other side, it's going to have a thymine nucleotide. Okay, if it has a guanine nucleotide, then it's going to have a cytosine nucleotide on the other side. And if it has a cytosine nucleotide here, it's going to have a guanine nucleotide here. Okay, that follows our base pairing rules. A adenine nucleotides will always pair up with thymine nucleotides on the opposing strand. Guanine nucleotides will always pair up with cytosine nucleotides on the other strand. Okay, and the two strands are held together in the middle by these things called hydrogen bonds. Notice that the DNA molecule looks like a ladder, okay? The sides of the ladder, okay, here and here, okay, because they're built from sugars and phosphates, are referred to as the sugar phosphate backbone. 
and inside that what would be the rungs of the ladder or the steps in the ladder okay those are made up of the nitrogenous basis okay and just to reiterate okay here we have one nucleotide so this molecule is actually made up of six nucleotides one here one here one here one there one there and one there okay all together this dna molecule is made up of six nucleotides so to recap okay today we talked about these molecules that look like this all right and these are called nucleotides all right why are nucleotides important because you need nucleotides to build DNA and RNA. Okay, these are super molecules or super huge molecules that are called nucleic acids. Okay, DNA is found inside the nucleus of your cells. RNA is going to be mostly found outside the nucleus of your cells. It's actually made in the nucleus, but then it's going to come out to the cytoplasm and it's going to be used for different uh, reasons. But both these molecules okay, are made up of these very special molecules called nucleotides, okay, which have one, two, three parts. The phosphate group this five carbon sugar and the nitrogenous base.